my 1999 Oldsmobile Laro. It's got the 3400 GM engine in it, the 3.4. Uh, what I'm going to do is open up a discussion on these engines um, with for people that have uh, problems with these motors and uh, the apparent fixes to uh, repair the problem. <clears throat> One of the main things that happens with these cars is that the uh, um, intake manifold gaskets tend to leak on them and you'll get a puddle of uh, green antifreeze down in there that you'll down in here that you'll be able to see uh, to uh, do the intake manifold gasket I mean it's kind of a job to do but um, it can be done with the uh, engine in there um, I did mine whenever I uh, had it on the floor before I put this engine in the uh, car so I had a lot of room to work around in it whenever I got this car the engine was bad in it so I got it for 800 and bought a $500 motor and put it in there uh, I guess I'll show you some of the parts for it this is the um, uh, mass airflow sensor the ideal air control valve the EGR the map sensor the DIS system for the spark obviously the uh, power steering pump, the alternator, the um, radiator reservoir, the water pump, down here is the uh, air conditioner, it's got dual fans, somebody added a uh, cold air intake uh, on it, kind of whistles a little bit whenever you drive it, but I like it. Uh, what else? Oh, another thing that um, is common to uh, go wrong with these is some of the vacuum lines sometimes um, can get loose and it can cause like a uh, uh, either a hesitation or sometimes um, it'll cause your uh, car to idle a little bit funny. <clears throat> Idling up and down. The um, the problem I had with mine was the uh, uh, vacuum line underneath this uh, bracket was uh, uh, leaking. So I put a dab of silicone around it and then put this, uh, cut a piece of um, sponge and uh, just shoved it underneath there. And uh, it seems to work out fine. It's not a, uh, not had any kind of um, hesitation or um, idling up and down like it had been. Another place to look for a vacuum leak is back down here underneath the uh, DIS system. Uh, there's a vacuum line that goes into the back of here and uh, uh, sometimes that thing will work its way loose and, uh, and cause you fits and not even uh, know uh, where it's at or where the problem's coming from but it's a uh, vacuum. Another problem these cars sometimes have uh, is the uh, fuel pumps obviously go bad. It is a GM um, so uh, if your car is not wanting to start, uh, but you can spray a little ether in it and it wants to go, but it won't stay running, it's probably the uh, fuel pump. They tend to go bad in these. Uh, whenever you start these cars up cold, like I said, they uh, do have a little bit of piston slap, so they'll make some noise until it warms up and they'll uh, it'll smooth out after that, after it gets warmed up. Relay center's right here. So, uh... All right, let's hear it from people. Let's see uh, what your problems are. See if we can get some people uh, joined in on this discussion and get the uh, get your car fixed and find out uh, the best and easiest way to get everything running. And there's my car.